It's that time of year again and Games Workshop are releasing their limited run of Battle Force box sets set to give you huge savings compared to buying the models separately. The box sets are going for $210 so I decided to see if I could source the files and print them and do it for much cheaper. It shouldn't be hard, should it? Well, as you'll see, it won't be hard for you, but for me, it was a bit of a challenge. The Skatari Rangers are one of the trip choices for the box set, and I think I remember Station Forge whenever they released their versions. But one thing I do remember hearing is that there's a lot of mixed reviews about their pre-supports, so they can be a bit hit and miss. What I'll do before I try and print these off is I'm going to run them through UV tools, which I've only just started using, so I'm still trying to get the hang of myself before I start doing proper videos about it. Well, that's a shame. It looks like what I've heard is true. For one of my previous videos, I actually used their pre-supported goblins and they came out quite fine. So I'm really torn on whether to take a risk or not because if I can use these, then it's going to save me a lot of time. I'm going to do it. At least if this fails, you'll know yourself not to use the pre-supports. I might just make extra prayers to the Omnissiah and hope that this prints off okay. I guess I'll find out in about four and a half hours. The Castellan bots are something that I have in my archive somewhere, but while the Rangers are printing, I'm going to check and see if maybe Station Forge have their own versions. They seem to do quite a lot of this ad mech line. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, they are different than the original, but Station Forge seemed to do a really good version of the cast and the bot, and although I couldn't find a closer alternative to the data smith, I actually found these two files. Now, one of them comes with the bots, which really helps because it costs $15, but the other one, I do quite like the look of, so I think I'm gonna print off both of them and I'll just see how they are in person. There was no failures. This changes a lot of things for me because now I can sort of trust these pre-supports and it's gonna save me so much time. I'm really excited for the rest of these models and to see how they're gonna print. I've been looking for a really good model of Belisar's Call in between these and to be honest I haven't been able to find one yet so I'm going to have to use my plan B and ask the Discord. Because realistically why should I set myself such a limit whenever I can just go ahead and ask a hundred other people and see if they know anything that I don't. Speaking of which if you want to join in on the Discord and support the channel at the same time then become a Patreon or a YouTube member and join in on the community. While I'm waiting on the results, I actually found a destroyer file from Station Forge from when I used to be a Patreon. The only thing is I can't find a link for it on my mini factory. And I think it's probably been purged whenever they've had run-in with Games Workshop. So to keep it fair, I'm going to assume the price is $15 like pretty much everything else has been. I realize this isn't really helpful for people that don't already have this file. There was actually another one recommended in the Discord and it only cost $7.50. All right, time to check the print. Fuck's sake, it's failed. I thought it might because I had packed that plate pretty tightly. I mean, I tried to print all six at the same time and I was sort of concerned about the suction force. I'll try and reprint the parts that failed. Luckily, it's only a few hours. So a few options were given in the Discord, but this one is perfect. It's pre-supported and it has the lychee files as well. And in fact, I actually forgot I even had this because it was well over a year ago and it was on a Patreon at the time, which was like $10 a month. So I'll add that into the total cost. The only thing is that I can't really link it because it doesn't exist anymore and the guy that made it doesn't really want to be advertised or doesn't want to be exposed. So I'm going to respect his wishes and I'm just going to show you the model and I'll show you some alternatives that I managed to find. I decided it would be best to print off Call and the three destroyers that failed earlier because maybe it was something to do with the suction force. I mean, I packed that plate pretty tightly, but of course they failed. Now, luckily for me in the Discord, I was actually recommended a different destroyer model while I was looking for Belisar's call. There's one major problem though, and that is that the flamer and the stubber are actually not supported. And it's been shown in the comments of this page that people have asked for it and the creator acknowledges it, but just hasn't updated the files. It's fine for me, I'll be able to support them, but if you're gonna buy these files, I would advise you highly to leave a comment before you do on his page and ask him to update those files first. You may have seen that the call model failed. I'm gonna try and save it by adding more supports to that Lychee file, but the real kick in the balls has been these destroyers. It's really set me back a lot on this project and I'm gonna guess these are old pre-supports, so 
I was taking a risk whenever I was using them. I'm also going to re-level the plate because only half of the plate printed off. And I'm also going to empty out the fat and check the FEP film just to see if maybe there's something wrong with that. I'll be honest with you, it's been a while since I've changed it. So at least you get an honest picture of what this experience has been like. But trust me, because of this video, you're not going to have to go through all of this. We're back in business, lads. The FEP needed change. It was well used. And I think this is probably the first time that I've done any maintenance to the printer in probably about four or six months. So it's more likely my fault. The destroyer is printed off great, thankfully. So now I'm going to add in the call model that I added extra supports to and also this proxy model from the Maker's Cult. I've also got a little bit of room left on the plate. So I'm going to add in the Dallas Smith from Station Forge and from the Maker's Cult and see how everything looks in person and then decide what I'm going to use by then. So including all of my failures that I've had, which you won't, I managed to print these off for a grand total of... Sam, it's time. You have completed the False Emperor's box set. Now you must print for the true gods. Games Workshop refused to release models and rules for the Dark Mechanicus but that won't stop me from printing them. I've got plenty of resin left over, so I'm gonna print off my own limited release of Dark Mechanica's Battle Force box set. The Dark Castellans have two different options to choose from, so I need to make a decision and decide on what I want my army to actually look like. I could choose to have an Iraq themed army with these spider legs, or I could stick with the classic and try and stay true to the original model. But saying that, the legged version looks like it could squish a bug or two. I'll tie in the Iraq legs into other parts of the army so that later on, whenever I want to expand this army, I could print off one of these really cool Iraq knights and make the army epic. The file cost $9 and as a bonus, one of the data smiths that I printed off earlier was actually from the Dark Techno range and it only cost $6. The destroyers also come with two different options and I think this is where I'm going to use the Iraq legs to really tie in for later on if I want to use that knight. The file costs $10 and it comes with loads of different weapon options which I'm going to need because I need to print off six to complete this box set. But for now the reason that I wanted to get this Dark Mechanicus army. The Dark Call. This model comes with loads of different options. It comes with two different heads. One of them is actually like an iron tyranid head and I've read into it. It looks like you can actually use this as a model with their iron hive range for their Terranids. So I might end up trying to start off a Terranid army with that. If you think that's a good idea, leave a comment below. The file cost $11, which normally I wouldn't agree with because I don't really like the fact that hero models are priced more than standard troops. But because you can use this model in two different armies, I think I'll let this one slide. Games Workshop wanted $210 for their limited run of Battle Force box sets, and I managed to get two admech armies for the total cost of $130 all in. This little project made me really glad that I have a 3D printer because now I'm super inspired to expand on these armies and I want you to leave a comment down below and let me know which one you want to see more of. And after you finish voting, then you should watch this video next because I managed to 3D print off a whole Death Corps of Krieg army and I saved an absolutely shocking amount. Thanks to my Patreons, without you none of this is possible and you guys honestly rock. And also thanks for helping me with this video even though you didn't quite know what it was for.